What's up, sons? Let's turn this big old fan off real quick. That's better. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Gamersups. Gamersups provides a healthy alternative to sugary energy drinks with delicious flavors like Misfits Melon or my favorite Blue Raz. I use the Gamersups as an alternative to support my active lifestyle outside of content creation. Caffeine free options are great for late night gaming after the kids have gone to bed. And my favorite part about Gamersups is that they accept cryptocurrency. And for a limited time, when you purchase a tub with cryptocurrency, you will receive a Bitcoin shaker. Follow the affiliate link in the description and don't forget to use code SOAT at checkout. Welcome to the channel. Today we have the final moving vlog for essentially the new location for my mining farm. That being said, there's going to be a lot more vlogs and a lot more content coming out of here because obviously we're going to be trying to upgrade and install new equipment. Right now this is what I would consider a temporary setup. We don't even have internet installed. We're running off of two hotspots, an AT&T and a Verizon hotspot. We're kind of go over why. We're going to run, obviously, networking later at a later date. We'll probably be running it, you know, all along here. And then just having drops to little switches if needed for each individual rack. This is the rack we showed off already. Let's go ahead and go over what's on it. All right, so at the top there is a 12 by 1660 Super rig that one's running reliably down here is 33070 let's see if I can focus and a 3080 you can split a little bit that one's running good this is 53090s this one's running really good this is 23080s and 23080ti's since the move it has stopped running good as a 5800X in there. It was mining Raptorium. I'm not sure if that has to do with it, but we're gonna try to figure it out. Right now it is rebooting up, but it keeps booting and then rebooting. And then if it reboots itself, there's nothing in the logs. And on top of that, it won't come back up if it reboots itself. You have to hard reset it. No idea what's going on with that. This one is six, 5600 XTs and one or two 5700 XTs. It's getting too hot on two of the GPUs. This one up here, the front fan is dying. And this one right here is a 5700 XT that's overheating. Um, and it's actually overheating on the core, which is interesting, both of them. This one obviously because the fan's dying. This one probably just needs to get taken down and repasted. So we'll have to go over that at some point and hopefully we'll get it running up and reliably. For now though, we do have an additional fan acting as exhaust, pulling heat away from that rig. And then we have this one just blowing on all the rigs. Down here is six by 5700 XT, six by 5700 XT, and at the bottom, 12 by 5700 XT. All three of those rigs are running reliably, no problem. Even though, yes, they are dirty. And then moving over to this one, we have an eight by 5700 XT rig right here. That one's running great. This one we had some issues with. It is another 5800X mining Raptorium with two 1660 Supers mining ETH but yeah we're going to take the 1660 supers out of this one and out of that one over there here i'll show you that one over there which is another 5800x and we are going to essentially uh, put it all in one rig i have another 1660 ti that we'll be putting in a separate rig and down there we have what's known as my 6000 series rig that's got uh, 26600 or 360. Hmm, hold on, as a <laughs> 6800 XT, a 6700 XT, and four 6600 XTs. It's using SMOS because Hive OS 
I cannot find the version of Hive OS that was working with the 6600 XTs. SMOS right out of the box is working. SMOS stands for Simple Mining. And here is my very first rig frame that we ever built on the channel. And it is running 85700 XTs. And then of course we have the Amminer L3 Plus mining Dogecoin and Litecoin together. <clears throat> and speaking of ASICs, we have a Voscoin Dogecoin miner. We have a KD box. Is that not KD? Uh, library box and handshake box. I wish I had a Kadana miner. They're making a lot. So see, this one came back up. And it'll run for a while and be fine, and it'll just take a poop. And we are doing... <coughs> 80, I turned the overclock off because I wasn't sure. We're doing 81 mega hash a second on LOL miner. We, we went back to LOL miner. I'm not sure if that's really what was causing any issues. We're just gonna see if we can get it to run at all. And then we'll, we'll add back in Raptorium. Raptorium is not being mined on it right now. Alrighty, so there you go. There is all the rigs that we currently have at the farm. Tomorrow we're gonna to be running out uh, on a four hour drive to pick up, I believe it's 133070s, uh, non light hash rate. We'll go over that probably in a vlog. And then uh, I think it's like a single 2080 Ti. And uh, we'll talk about that in tomorrow's vlog or maybe the day after tomorrow's vlog. I'm not really sure at this point. But I'm going to get to Halloween. Make sure you guys go out, go trick-or-treating, have a lot of fun, and uh, enjoy, enjoy the weekend with your family. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted Rocket Chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access, and after that you need to head over to the Membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media, and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join Rocket Chat, where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.